a pastor from a large church in Chicago wrote that he had been very excited about the worship service that Sunday morning. It was very upbeat, and so he was surprised to come across a woman in a stairwell who was crying after the service. He asked her, is everything okay? And she said, no. She said, my mom was baptized today, and I've been praying for her for 19 years. And after five years, I said to myself, who needs this after continually praying? And after 10 years, I said, this is a waste of my breath. And after 15 years of praying for my mother, I said, this is absurd. And after 19 years of praying for her, I said, you are a fool. That's what I said to myself. But nonetheless, she says this, but I just kept trying, kept praying. Even with weak faith, I kept praying. Then she gave her life to Christ, and she was baptized today. I will never doubt the power of prayer again. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As I read this passage today, I want you to imagine that you are hearing these words of Jesus Christ for the very first time. What is your reaction to these words? Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Six different ways Jesus says God answers prayer. Now you might ask the question, is there a catch? And in a sense, there is. We learn from the rest of Scripture that we must pray prayers of faith and we must pray prayers that are in accord with God's will. Nonetheless, this is incredible that God promises to answer prayer in this way. George Mueller, who lived in the 1800s, felt that God had put five individuals on his heart that needed to come to Christ, and he was going to pray for them every day. After 18 months of praying every day, regardless of what was happening in that day, for these five individuals, the first one came to Christ. And then, after five years of praying every day, the second one came to Christ, and Mueller thanked God. Then, after six years, the third one came to Christ, and now that just left two. After 36 years, Mueller had prayed every single day for them, and these two men happened to be uh, sons of a friend of his. They had not come to Christ. It was 52 years after he began praying and Mueller was dead that the final two came to Christ. And I understand at least one of them, their coming to Christ was related to his funeral service. Now, I am an efficient person. I love to utilize time and I hate wasting time. I've got my lists of things to do. And a person like me could easily say, prayer is a waste of time. Friends, Prayer is not a waste of time. And give another promise that Jesus said in John 15, 7 to his disciples. He said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. Now, have you seen God answer a prayer that really encouraged you? Can you encourage the rest of the body of Christ if you're on a platform that allows it by telling us how God answered that prayer? And until next time, May you keep on praying.